Anyways, okay, let's get the show on the road. Last time when we met our heroes, uh, yeah, you we spent like a half an hour dealing with the loot taken from the. No, oh, I think uh, we had like half the session that we did with loot. <laughs> yeah, probably half a session itself. Apart from that, some like social interactions and whatnot, and you received also a suggestion about two things and I'm pretty sure you decided on one of them which is uh, investigate the missing city of Dragon Island uh, which is... Yeah, the city the city was uh, called Dragon Island No, the... It was probably an island No, no, Dragon Island is Dragon Island but the city on the Dragon Island probably some sort of Dragon City again. Ah, oh, he may go from somebody, never mind. Um, so yeah, uh, you decided on that, and uh, I think... You decided on that, and yeah, I think you're still in the city, and I remember that uh, Guildmaster asked you kindly that because of all the preparations for the end times and war effort to keep the like flying castle in the city just in case and you can like use alternative ways of transportation which i believe some of you have like teleportation Great or teleport or you or you have fucking giant dragon who can <laughs> carry that every too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, giant, i'm fine go. i'm fine with being everyone's mount for now <laughs> I can click my heels three times and teleport wherever the fuck I feel like. <laughs> I, I don't have to click my heels either. I can or you just, can just like... you know, actually have some flair while you travel and travel on the back of a colossal dragon. I mean, I don't know. It's I know what I would prefer. <laughs> You'd prefer be on top of a dragon. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A dragon riding a dragon. <laughs> exactly. It's great because Ego is huge, so there would be space for you guys as well. All right. Everybody on top of Jai. And I can go forever because I took a little thing that allows me to just keep on going whenever the fuck I want. You cannot be tired while you're flying. Yeah? I can be tired, but I normally you have to... You the Energizer you're... Bunny? No. <laughs> uh, that would be great, though. But I have overland flight. So I can basically go all day without going tired and continue going on. And my fucking fort save is stupid enough that we don't have to worry about me collapsing somewhere. Because mm. your fort save is insane. Yep. that's the, One of the perks with being a dragon makes your fort save go pretty, pretty I love high. How, I love how from both of my classes my reflex save is shit. But my <laughs> reflex is my best save. It's your highest, yeah. You said, said as much. Yeah, for say, for me, it's like a ridiculous reflex save, but I have horrible fortitude save, so... Mm. Alright, we should probably get going then. Yes. Mm. Do you have some sort of preparation apart from buying, like, some... What was the name of that fucking potion that will allow you to breathe underwater? Because potion I saw you suggested... Potion of water breathing. Yeah, we kind of needed that because we have no, uh, you know ways of breathing on the water. <laughs> yeah, I strongly suggested that probably city is underwater. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I have um, a plus three to swim. I have a plus <coughs> I have a plus twelve, so moving around or I don't actually know. I mean uh, what's my swim check? For now it's not really a matter of having good swim skill, it's just a matter of prolonged of being able to breathe surviving underwater like yeah. Yeah, breathing. I mean, but I know there's going to be, if you only have like a plus three in swim, you might want to just, yeah, because keep in mind, swimming in this game, if you don't have at least a decent swim score, fucking sucks, donkey dick. Hang on, so, uh, do we, uh, is there any shop in Dragonhide that sells a diver spell? Is there any shop that sells a potion of freedom of movement? I, I have I have a 
much worse and crazier and fun idea. Oh, don't God. you don't you oh, have okay. rank of freedom of movement? I I don't think so. Maybe. I mean, I mean if you if you don't, don't if you don't remember like I, I I won't remember what loot you get for you. You yeah. need to remember that yourself. We don't have a ring of freedom of movement, and if we ever had it, I think we might have sold it at one point. Maybe. I th I think it, I think it's on someone's corpse somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened to it, wasn't it? It was uh, Osiris that got the freedom of movement ring. Yeah. And then oh, he okay. got eight eaten. Um, okay. I, I'm I'm gonna go find a sturdy rope. Tie By the way, my, tie did we part of it around myself and give the other part and give the other side to Ego uh, has Ego. better swim score. And so Ego can just like throw me at things and underwater. <laughs> yes. For a moment, I yes. thought you are gonna say that the second <laughs> part is tied to uh, Jai's tail, but that wouldn't make much sense. I, I, I can I consider <laughs> that. I make a tail attack. <laughs> it's a full round attack. So I'd be <laughs> using you like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> I I considered that, but oh decided it'd be a bad idea and better for me just to be I goes yo yo. Don't make me p push that and uh, not sing. Uh, like roll that song on the jukebox. Yes. It came in like a wrecking. <laughs> oh God, oh, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Okay. I won't Hang vandalize on. the map. So I'm gonna no, say question. like that unless. The item is like really fucking like artifact level. You pretty much can get everything because status update on like the entire situation to let get it out of our heads. Uh, people, it's pretty much safe to assume that everybody who is who was alive and like willing to evacuate north from Deep Gulf and like so from the Limia Republic, Kingdom of Asmarine and like Riverhold and other places that were assuming they were still like existing uh, already did so because everything north from Deep Gulf apart from uh, like surrounding areas of Land of Ashes are like pure blizzard like constant blizzard like almost like an ice age you know what I Fucking just realized? Fucking cold, a lot of snow, pure visibility, and... That the world's ending? I think I might now, have a couple like, of spells left that I like... can actually learn. So I could potentially be a douche nozzle and say, hey, you know what, one of my third level spells that I'm still allowed to get is uh, uh, water breathing. You should just do that. And... Yep, I have, let's see, uh, third level? One, two, I have two more third level spells that I'm allowed to learn. Oh, so. Uh, just a quick question. Did anyone uh, remember to uh, move the loot that we got from the uh, Phantom Troop uh, castle to over to the castle storage section? Uh, you're right. I think you already did, with, like, dealt with it. I, yes. I assume that. As you are going out, like in the meantime, you manage to like sort your situation with the loot, sell stuff, get stuff. So, like on last session, Zach was like splitting the like money between of you. So I have a question. Speaking of Otiros, did we ever destroy the shit out of the dragons that did that? Nope. nope. Dragons no. themselves. You had small sort of the vendetta when like a huge flock of dragons arrived at ruins of Sol uh, at South Silver then, uh, because yeah, Battle of South Silver was kind of fun because that was melee throughout between like uh, first the army of South Silver and like the land of Vashes were fighting, then uh, Umbral Dragon with his army of shadows like. Several thousand of shadows arrived from Hollow Forest to join the fight, and then from the north. Like another like horde flock of winter dragons, like uh, what are ice dragons? Like blue ones or mm. white ones? Like okay, arrived really and yeah, also like did uh, some sort of destruction. But the specific dragons that killed Otiros did not appear. They will probably show up well when their uber duper elder leader shows up and awakens fully. So I have a question. Shall we destroy those two fuckers? Because I still, I, I have a bit of a vendetta against them still. 
That requires us to go into the freezing cold north. Oh, yeah. No, it will require us to go all the way to the north, which we're not going to do now. But eventually, will we go there? Because that would be my personal request. Uh, they will kind of come to you. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Well, I'll eat them at that Well, point. don't tell us that. <laughs> It's not like we were planning an expedition up into the inhospitable wasteland. Yeah, and the last time you kinda had to either get Jotun blood into your veins or get blessing from Lady of the Lake to actually go to the north north itself. Because, yeah, yeah I remember that I said the area in there is like even endure elements will not help you. Yeah, but speaking of like situation in the land, apart from the like north, the end of the world is not quite yet happening. But uh, yeah, the north, the situation, the weather situation, apart from Dragon Islands, is getting progressively worse. But if you ask any like druid or like practitioners of like nature magic, uh, they can all still feel that the Yggdrasil is still. Uh, like alive and kicking and growing steadily and be ready to connect to others like in some time honestly I don't remember so I'm gonna say you do not have because I have well are there written that you have free vials in the cast uh, no the thing is we have they wore out after a while that was what we came up with that they yes. lost their potency after a short while. Oh, yeah, that makes absolute sense. So, I realize that I have not been updating my spells whatsoever. <laughs> well... I have, like, four more level 6 spells to choose, two more level 5 spells. Well, you, as you said, you kinda didn't have time to do anything regarding, yeah. like, rotating stuff. At least in this session. And yeah, on the other side, like... If somebody's traveling like near Land of Ashes, you can see that there is no snow there, <laughs> but instead there is like huge fucking clouds of smoke and like ash are like piled in the air, and also the visibility in there is like uh, also. Why would there be snow in Land of Ashes? Not snow. Uh, yeah. Did I say snow? That the you said snow. Okay, so I meant so smoke and ash. It's like, it's like the moment where volcanoes are not erupting, but you get the feeling that this is like before the eruption, something like that. I don't know the professional name name of that. So yeah, wheels of fate are uh, moving steadily mm -hmm. and slowly, and for the last week or two, there were absolutely no information news regarding situation in Azure Empire. Absolutely it's nothing. Maybe there were skills that going on, maybe everyone killed everybody else, and maybe there is so much death and destruction that nobody can get information out, who knows. As always, at the start of the day, I cast uh, Eagle Soul on both myself and Eagle. Mm. Oh? What's that do? Eagle Soul basically lasts for one level per hour. Uh, one hour per level, sorry. And basically what it does, the moment you get into combat with a with an evil creature, um, it does some pretty badass stuff. So, for example, you can activate it as a swift action. In that case, the remainder of the rounds that you have will do take uh, one round for every... Uh, one round for every... Um, whatchamacallit? Hour. One, uh, one round for every hour that you had left. You always gain a plus two morale bonus on all perception checks made against the evil creatures and a plus two on initiative checks. And I get detect evil as a constant spell-like ability. And the moment you activate it, you get a plus two sacred bonus to AC, plus four sacred bonus to strength, five resistance to acid and fire, five to sacred bonus on all intimidate checks made against evil creatures, fast healing two, and here's the kicker, any critical threat roll made against an evil creature with a weapon you wield is automatically confirmed. And why don't I get this? If you want me to cast it on you, I can. I this have... Uh, let's see, uh, how many spells can I cast of this? That day? last part? Yeah, it's really good for uh, uh, for someone like Ego. I have... 14 to 20. Yep. I'll have two spells left that I can cast during the day. 
you don't have well you don't have to do it now because I'd just pop it pretty much as soon as. Well, that yeah, no, that's the thing. Like it, you, it lasts for the whole day, up until the moment you pop it. So, it, I, it's why I like to have it up at the start of the day, just in case something happens and I have to pop it. Okay, it's up so to you. I'll, I'll cast it on you because All I know right. you're a crit build as well. So I'll cast it on you as well. So keep uh, that in mind that mm. you have a eagle soul cast upon your face. Oh my, that sounds kinky. Mm-hmm. All right, so should we get going? Sounds like a plan. Uh, is this the third time we've tried to set off? <laughs> yep. Hey, yes. Uh, no right. more business, anyone? Well, I'm thinking about a macro whether you'd want it. Uh, let me just talk us talk to self. Okay, but if there is no oh, person yeah, that you want to it. talk about, no equipment to buy, then you set off one way or another, I'm assuming by flying different ways, because it, will, it won't take I, that much I'm long. getting them out seat. Yep. <laughs> As you are flying uh, through the land, in this part not so much, but you can see that near the forest, uh, like on the roads are like there's a lot of travelers and refugees going from one place to another uh, several like provisionary camps and maybe even like small villages built from ground up are like popping out in some small very small ones like pop out in some places so apparently but there is like not much sure hundreds or maybe thousands but uh, you're pretty sure that some uh, not many were able to, uh, not able but ever and willing to come here and have a chance of surviving. But as we arrive at the place that you are thinking, assuming the like uh, location of other cities and correlation between them, uh, you assume that this is the area that the city should be. You for now. Assuming it was a long time ago, you, do, you are not surprised that on the land, like near the coast, at the first glance you not see really, not really see anything, not even like old ruins. So what's your plan at searching that place? Let's eat everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, go. Okay, so let's see. How do we plan on doing this? I mean, what? So we get there and there's should, nothing. What tools are we you using? Not on the ground. Like, you Which don't is see why any I ruins. wanted to buy a diver's bell. Do we see anyone yeah, you could, in this? You could buy it and you, you can buy it. No. Alright, so. Alright, how, for how much? I don't know. I don't know how much uh, this cost. Need to check it again. And uh, let's just say a hundred gold pieces. Okay. And uh, what was the question, Aoki? Do we see anyone here? Uh, like specific to this area? Not really. As I mentioned on the roads, there are some like travelers and refugees. You can clearly say they are refugees because they uh. have like clothes, kind of not torn but worn out clothes, and they. Some of them have like tired. Yeah. Uh, like. So we don't see any villagers or somebody who's lived here for a longer time. No. Okay. Oh, John, maybe see somebody. Mm-hmm. I mean, you recognize that, as I mentioned, like while on the way, there were some like refugee camps and small villages popping out, like being built right now. Mm. But what's interesting that like within. 70 to 20 kilometers from this area Uh, like it doesn't seem like people are wanting to stop here and like create a like holding or something yeah like you don't feel you don't feel any specific magic i would say but maybe some sort maybe if you focus hard enough it's like a sort sort of like feeling that 
for you it doesn't do shit, but for like commoners and like level zero guys, it like s drives them away and they cannot really say why. It's like subconscious. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do we go directly towards the thing that's trying to hold us away? Mm. Mm. I should get I... some more throwing weapons. I guess. Oh, unless anyone has another plan, maybe we should go directly to the thing that's telling us not to go there. <clears throat> yeah, that's a little bit of the problem. It doesn't come from the direct source. It's like... ...saturated. Mm -hmm. So it's like... But what we could do is just simply go to the... When it stops, and then we just... To trace a circle around it, and we'll be able to find where it comes. Mm. That's a plan, actually. Yeah, triangulate that shit. Mm. Okay, so... All of you can make me a survival check. Sure. Uh. Oh. I have survival. Um, okay, it's not that bad, actually. Ooh, so that's why engineering. Thirty-six. Thirty-nine. Thirty-three. Yes, we, actually, a... we have triangle now. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> mm. I am a survivor. I have the highest survival. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Mine's so plus nine. Why, why is your survival twenty-six? Because I'm a badass. <laughs> okay, that's good enough reason for me. <laughs> and we have the classic, the one with the highest score get the lowest roll. Yep. <clears throat> What's well, yep. still the 13 roll? That's pretty good stuff. My stealth is 33, my perception is 32. Yeah, I, I, I don't have fucking stealth at all. <laughs> my heal is 30. I, have a, I suffer a minus 16 on stealth rolls, mm -hmm. so my stealth is minus 13. Um, my fly is 28 and my acrobatics is 31. I have nice. 20 stealth despite putting more like two points in it, just from nice. dexterity. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, I'm, so, I'm sure we could hide Jaya if we needed to. Totally. <laughs> no, don't worry. We can totally hide me. Yeah. Turn you into a person and then chop you up and... Yeah, I, put him in yeah, a I could turn myself mm -hmm. into a person if I really wanted to, but yeah. I just enjoy being in Durgan form. Mm -hmm. And then we throw, toss you into a sack and then let somebody uh, competent hide you. <laughs> Ty 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 Rock. Rock. Sounds about ocean. right. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Matt, do we find the location? <sighs> yeah, as you are like spending at least a like, few hours on like calculating the entire area, like focusing your senses to like make a distinction where the this feeling ends and when it starts and you realize that for certain the source of that comes uh, from uh, the sea the water mm. probably like like between like 5 to 8 kilometers away from the coast Hmm. Well, seems anybody up for a swim? Because I think that's what we're gonna have to. I do. Genkara uh, suddenly pales. <laughs> so. What the hell? I have a thing. <laughs> I have a. I have water. It's about so. the John Skull. Wait, where where the circle go? <laughs> I drew that. No. Well, I I just deleted the circle. Oh gosh, you, you drew it at the beginning and then Matt just kind of thought it was cool. John <laughs> has about two hours worth of water breathing, mm. which is good. Uh, I'm going to have to do math for all of the others, aren't I? Mm. It's going to be great. Holy yeah. shit, perhaps I may be able to summon shit underwater. Ten hours? Good job. Mm. I, think, I think it was like there. Yeah. Does that look right? Yeah. With how many people are we? One? No, uh, wasn't it? There's five of us and John's five. built with himself. I know, but yeah. Ego is one as well. So everyone gets about seven... To breathe? Yeah. Uh, everyone gets about seven hours worth of water breathing. 
until I have to recast it. Nah, it's like it's a bit too high up. The circle was a good spot. Or maybe I will. I will yeah, like it was a bit further down. Switch it. I am not a fish, yeah. but I can at least slightly move. <laughs> Let me use my dre my breath weapon underwater. Let's see. What <laughs> <happens>. <laughs> oh god! Everyone gets light. electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, everybody gets electrocuted if you do that. Yes. <laughs> Genkiro Genkiro cannon is going to be a lot greater now. <laughs> By the way, what about your ammunition, Alti? Yeah, I have a pouch that makes me able to shoot underwater, but I'm still really, really shit on the water. Mm. Yeah, right, because I'm using not fucking underwater panel penalties for ranged folk, man. The horrible. I mean, not really for the. Not only for the range, although they might be the worst. Which no, makes sense because it's kinda hard to plow. Like, even a bullet slows down massively. Yeah, underwater. bullet slows down really quickly underwater, so I have to be really close to people. Fuck me. Yeah, so as you, I guess, prepare. Thankfully, with all the weather weird shenanigans happening in the other parts, thankfully here, just near the Dragon Island, there is no storm, no nothing. The, the sea is as calm as it normally is during the, this time of the year. So no high waves, no like strong currents, so it's pretty easy to swim in. For now. I dislike I, I, that. I realize that for now is probably the one of the best sentences to like induce paranoia in your players. Yes, it's mm. great. Great. Also the sentence, we're playing paranoia. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh god. Yeah. Uh, never played that oh. system, but I heard this one. Anyways. So, you prepare your spells, activate them... And you are able to breathe underwater, and then you, with all the majesty one person going underwater full, in full clothing can master, you go under. And for quite some time, the water is uh, like nice, like you can have nice visibility, it's not really polluted nor dark. Uh, but as you are going uh, deeper and Going by the scent of that strange uh, feeling. source feeling. Uh, at some point, you realize that first uh, you are at the bottom. Uh, second, it's much much darker. Although you didn't feel that you went that uh, that deep to actually for that level of darkness, because yeah, as you go deeper than the rays of the sun have problem mm -hmm. getting underwater, so it's slightly unusually darker than it should be. And third one, as you're like, the ground uh, in the water is like sand and usual stuff, but once again, at first, no visible ruins or nothing. But the feeling tells you straight that you are like, it's hot, not cold. You are getting to the right place. But either Richard. it was so long ago that the entire place got covered by the mud and sand, or somebody took a lot of uh, lot of work to make sure that it's really hard. Mm. Oh. Mm. I suppose you keep falling down. Down, down. Yeah, yep. but you're already at the bottom. Ah. Like, at first glance, you feel not maybe... It seems like a bottom ground level of the sea, at least, in this part. But mm. uh, not before, like, John takes uh, several... I, I make perception, too. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cheesy-ass skills that let me use perception twice. <laughs> yeah, you were looking for a sunken city, but apparently for now it's apparently lack of parts of sunken city. But 
with those kinds of roles, uh, apart from like seeing, it's also like maybe listening to the currents and like, I mean, not like really, really fucking focusing on like realizing stuff that there, what stuff is there if it's if you cannot see it at the first glance. And I'm guessing maybe to make it easier, somebody uh, casts or have like a spell that gives light. Or if you have like I have, <laughs> I actually don't have the light spell. It makes me very sad. Although I'm, I'm guessing, well, I, if you have dark vision, I, then I, it should help. I activate my so uh, stance of the silver crane, which is the one that gives me the halo above my head that gives light. Nice. <laughs> I think everyone just takes a step away from you in case somebody thing tries to eat you. <laughs> and wings. It also gives me wings, which doesn't help. <laughs> you flap them in effect. You flap them in effect, yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I, c I can see, but he said he needed light, so I did this. Mm. Does he not need this? I mean... Don't you have dark vision? Wait, you're a dragon. Screw you. I go back into I, I'm totally battle fine. Stance. Yeah, I, I, I only like. So, I mean, at first I suggested light, but then I realized that probably a lot of you have dark vision or something, so that slightly darker part of the sea is not that problematic for you. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you realize that uh, there is actually uh, a pathway leading downwards, but it was Ooh. very carefully like hidden. It is hard to tell at first glance if this was by nature or like somebody actually made it. I mean, it looks like a natural like tunnel in a like cavern, like absolutely massive tunnel, like fucking like three Jai standing next one to another could probably fit in and only then they would fill the tunnel, but they still could go downwards. Like, it's fucking huge. And it was like... find how large I actually am. It was like covered by like stones, uh, not plates, but uh, uh, some sort of like underwater shit that made it hard to find. And maybe it was some, um, uh, maybe maybe it was also like some very minor illusion hiding spell that probably got dispelled immediately as you like spotted it. Okay, so. Technically, you have your way downwards, and it's completely dark in the tunnel below. Mm. Alright, I suggest we get going there. <laughs> There's also oh, one... I'm, about, uh, I'm probably... I'm 64 feet or longer. Um, and I weigh 125 tons or more. Which is great. Wait a lot. I am fat as shit. Yeah, I thought so. Mm. Stop eating that junky just, food! <laughs> wouldn't you just, like, sink? I would, yes, I would. I would just sink to the fucking bottom. How the fuck are we gonna get stop. you out of here? And, and wouldn't physics drag us with you? Yes. <laughs> if you guys are under me, or holding on to me, then yes. We would sink like a rock. Um, I can swim up. That's no issue, funnily enough, because I'm strong enough to withstand mm. that. But if we are lazy, we can just sink into the... Yeah. If it gets, becomes stormy water, though, we might have a problem. 